Hi everyone, for this project we're going to be making a magazine circle collage using fractions. So here's the one I just finished. A little later in this video I'll show you exactly how I made this. But for this project, here's what you're going to need. We're using magazines to cut our circles from. If you don't have magazines, you could also use some other things that you might get in the mail, like coupons or ads, newspaper. Um, you could even just use regular paper that you've already colored, but it is important that you're, um, you have papers that are different colors. And it's nice in a magazine because they're already colored for you. Then you're going to need something to glue it to. So that could be another piece of paper. It could be a piece of cardboard. I just glued mine right inside of my sketchbook. Um, you can also glue it inside of a notebook. Then if you want to glue it, you will need glue. You could also use tape instead or a stapler would work too. <clears throat> then you're going to need scissors to cut your circles out of your magazines and you're going to need things that you can trace that are a circle. So these are some things that I traced. I used a roll of tape, I used candles that are different sizes, and I used lids and I used the bottom and the top of a cup. So notice the things I traced for circles were different sized circles. That's important too. All right, in a second here, I'm gonna show you how I made this. But first, let's do a quick reminder about fractions because the way that we're cutting our circles and gluing them, that's where the fractions come in. So after you've cut out circles, um, for magazines, then you're going to cut them into different pieces. This is where the fractions come into play. If I make one cut down the center of mine, and now I have two pieces, these are halves of a circle, right? This is one half, this is one half, and I could put those on my design. For our project today, we're going to be using whole circles, we're going to be using halves, fourths, and eighths. So I have a few that I've glued in here so we can talk about this real fast. So here is one circle that I have not cut. So if I look at my fraction, it is one piece total, so that goes on the bottom, and this is one piece that I have here, and that's just one, one whole. This one right here, I've got two pieces total, and if I'm looking at just one of them, this is one out of my two pieces. So that's one half. Down here, I've got one, two, three, four pieces total. And if I'm just looking at this one right here, it's one out of my four pieces. So this is one fourth of my circle. This is one half of a circle. And this is one full circle. I also have one more that's, well, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have eight pieces total. If I'm just looking at this one right here, that would be one out of my eight pieces, or one eighth of my circle. So as you're cutting your circles for this project, see if you can get one full circle in your collage, a half, a fourth, and an eighth. All right, so I took out pages from the magazine where I really liked the textures, like these green leaves, or the patterns, like right here, or some, I just liked the color. Like this one, I'm probably gonna do a circle right here that's plain red. So once you found textures, colors, and patterns that you like, you're ready to make your circles. So I'll start with this one. I've got a few different circle tracers that I could use. I like to hold them up and see which one is gonna fit best in that space. For this one, I think it's the roll of tape. Then you can use a pen or a pencil for this. I'm gonna use a Sharpie just so you can see it better. I'm gonna hold my circle still and I'm going to trace around it so I have a circle to cut. Now this texture has a lot more space. I think I can get another one, maybe a different size of those leaves. I'm going to hold my circle in place. I'm going to trace around my pen or pencil. And there we go. 
when you're done drawing your circles or tracing them, then you would cut them out. You know that I like to do a bubble cut first, which means I cut loosely around my line. You see my line there? And then I'll cut a little bit slower right on that line. That bubble cut just makes it easier so there's less paper hanging down. All right, and I've got one of my circles. You would keep doing this until you have um, several circles. I would say at least seven or eight. You could do even more. I really like to have circles of all different sizes, all different colors, and all different textures. So I wouldn't want all of my circles to be this medium size, and I wouldn't want all of my circles to be green. So next I might do a really big circle on the red. All right, I've cut out several circles, so I think I'm ready to start making my design. So first I'm going to kind of spread out these circles I made so I can see all of them. That way as I'm designing, I don't forget about any of the colors or designs that I made. So remember, I tried to do different sizes, some larger, some smaller, some medium, and different colors and different textures. So some just look like a plain color. Some have more of like a scratchy looking texture. I found some flowers that um, kind of look soft. Okay, so I think I'll start with one of my larger circles. And remember, um, if you cut it, we're trying to work with fractions, either a half, a fourth, or an eighth. So I think to start, I think I'll do this one in fourths. So remember, I fold it in half once, fold it in half twice. So this will give me, when I open it, one, two, three, four pieces. To make it easier to cut, I'm going to fold it back up and cut on that line right there. So now I have two pieces, or it's cut in half. Now I'm going to cut on this fold line. Now I have three pieces, but this is not really a third because these are not the same size. I'm going to cut on my last line. Now I have four pieces that are even or the same size, so this is one fourth, or one out of my four pieces. Now, if I just leaved it, left it like this, it would still look like a circle. So maybe I'll change my design a little bit. Maybe I'll have them, I don't know, on the edges of the paper like this. Okay, now I'm gonna add more. Maybe I wanna leave one circle just plain. Maybe I could leave that circle in the middle. So this is just one hole. All right, now I might work with smaller pieces and glue them on top of my larger pieces. For this, I want to make sure I'm using a very different color and texture. If I cut this red circle into little pieces and then glued it on top of this red piece, you wouldn't even see it. It would blend right in. So that's why I'm choosing one that's very different. So maybe for this one, I'll, I'll do eighths because I haven't done eighths yet. So for eighths, you're going to fold it once. Fold it twice, that would be fourths, and then fold it one more time. So that's how big one eighth of that circle would be. I'm going to open it back up and cut on that fold line. And then it's still attached a little bit, so I'm going to open it up. So we've got these two pieces here. I'm going to lay them on top of each other. Cut on that fold line. I don't want to lose any of my pieces. One, two, three, four. So open it up, cut right on that fold line. There's six. And here's the last piece. One last cut. Seven, eight. Okay, so this is one of my eight pieces. So it's one eighth. Here are two of my eight pieces. So it's two eighths. Now I can decide how I want these to go. Maybe I'll put four of them on top of this blue circle. And then maybe I'll put the other four instead of right back here where they were. 
Now I'll put the other four facing out. I like that. All right, I'm gonna do one more and then I'll do the rest after I stop filming. So now I'm gonna use one of my green pieces and I haven't done halves yet. So I think I'll do this one just in half. So I'm gonna fold it in half, open it up and cut straight down that line. All right, so this is one of my two pieces. So it's one half. Maybe these halves I'll put here and here. And you know what, I have another one that's also green. I think it might look nice if I do the same with this one. Fold it in half, cut on that line. Maybe I'll have these go around here and here. All right, I don't think I'm done because I don't have a lot of overlapping yet. I have a little bit of overlapping here where this piece is on top of that one, but I would like to do more. So maybe next I'll cut this one up and put some of the pieces on these red ones. I'll show you when it's all done. All right, I think I'm done with my design. I like the way it looks. I have all different colors. I have different textures. I have different sizes. Some pieces I cut into eighths, some I cut into fourths, some I cut in half, and some I left whole. Now I didn't use all of my circles. You can see I have more, that's okay. Maybe I can use these in a different design. I also wanna say I did not glue anything until I'm all the way done. So see how I can still move these pieces? The reason I wait to glue is sometimes um, I might have liked the way something looked at first. Like at first, I just had this red piece with the blue one on top, but then a little bit later, I decided it might look cool if this was underneath, so I could slide it under. If I had already glued that red piece down, I wouldn't be able to slide this under or change where anything is. So I waited till I had my design all laid out. Now I'm ready to glue. You can use any kind of glue. You could even use tape and roll it into little pieces. Um, I think I'm going to use a glue stick for this one. I think that'll be easiest for me. But if you don't have a glue stick, um, you could use a glue bottle or tape. You could staple your pieces down, or you could just take a picture like this and not glue them. All right, I think I'm going to start with the smallest pieces first. So I'm just going to slide one piece off. If I take them all off, I don't think I'll remember where they go. So I just took one piece off. I'm going to put some glue on the back of it and then I'll stick it down where it goes. For me, it seems easiest to start with the smallest pieces that are on top and then work my way back. So I'm just picking up one piece at a time, putting glue on it, and then laying it down where it goes. Oops. Now I can take the medium pieces, put glue on the back, stick them where they go. And now that these are all attached, I can put glue on the back of the larger piece and I can put that down where it goes on my paper. All right, I'm gonna keep gluing it. I'll show you a picture when it's all done. 